All right, we got our mud down the hill and they didn't tip over and didn't crash in the ground. So you want to get out of here. If it's a really big project, get down, maybe you can see me better. A uh, real big, big project, you can just hand it, take it out of the wheel bell and just put it on that way. You can also dump it into a trough and that's lower and it's easier to kind of move. Again, it's just what's what you're most comfortable with. I'm gonna use the wheelbarrow, but I wanted to show you that the, the uh, mixing tubs are a great way to just dump things in, have a lower access point to put it onto your rock work if again, you're not you know, trying to do it out commercially or whatever. We usually use five gallon buckets because we can carry them around quickly and just do our thing. So I'm gonna move these and we'll get the wheelbarrow up close and personal. Move my trowels over a tiny bit. <clears throat> If you shovel it in, you're going to run the risk of getting it closer to my rock there. You run the risk of putting a lot more material, messing up the, the uh, this little guy right here. The rock is made out of dirt, remember? So obviously on the top flat parts, you can just tap it in there. I know I'm only making it this thick, right? That's sort of the thing you want to, keep in mind. Start at the bottom. Again, that angle of repose is such that this is not too big a problem. I learned from sand sculpting that as you're putting sand on, you press it down. I'm doing the same thing with this. Right now there's about an inch there. The bottom needs to be thicker than the top a little bit because it's going to be carrying the lateral and the vertical, I should say, loads of material that's going up this pitch, this angle right here, right? And the good thing is, the minute you put it on here, I didn't spray it with water, uh, so the dirt will begin to pull out the moisture in the mud and stiffen it. Thumb down as I'm packing it in, remember? And I'm looking at it, I can see this angle that it's an inch thick, about maybe three quarters. I got right now, I have three 60 pound bags, so it's 180 pounds. Again, I'm pushing it down with my thumb on the top as I'm working. Now I'm watching how fast I'm using that material and you know, we're gonna get a lot of, a lot of miles out of just three bags, three 60 pound bags of concrete. Around the bottom, bottom a little thicker. That's okay. Hand working it in, pressing it down from the top. My side put my hand, hand pushes in sideways. The thumb pushes down from the top to make it so you guys can see it. I'm using my left hand for this video. Concrete is absolutely amazing stuff. It's very inexpensive, pound for pound for sure. It's very, very durable. All right, looks pretty good coming back at it after we blew it out. This is a total of three 60 pound bags. I'll get my little cushion out of the way. And uh, really came out pretty nice, I would say. And it's just like, you know, an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So super easy, fast, making rocks with dirt. So there you go. Next process would be uh, giving it a texture coat and uh, then paint.